Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And then after this video, I'll show you how to pour the metal. So we've got this wax that has the stone in place that we want to sand cast. So what we do is we start with this side of the flask that's got the, the edge on it. Some might call it the male side of the flask. The edges go down. So we take our clay... This is red clay. This is my brand. Uh, it's not really a sand, it's definitely a clay. I like to take this tart tamper and really push it in there like that to begin with. Get some more there. Uh, mandrel works really good. Let me grab mine. Okay. Hammer that down really well. Once you do that, you scrape it off so that it's flush. Flip it over. I like to get everything away from the edge here. So the two halves will go together well. Then you want to take your talc. Talc works better than anything. Uh, just make sure you have ventilation. You don't breathe it. So now the thing about a wax like this. I've always found it's best if the metal goes in. And the stone is, is over on this end. So that the metal drops and it drops around the stone. Uh, another thing with casting is that you want to connect to the heaviest part of the, the piece so that when the, the metal cools, uh, it doesn't draw from the thin areas. But on this particular piece, because I carved this with, with such a heavy shank, we're still going to put the piece with the stone way over on this end. So this is going to have to be, you're going to have to do this carefully so you don't break your wax, but you're going to have to push this in. I have another way that I'm working on to do this that will be even better, but it's not ready yet. So, okay. Once we have that like that, then make sure there's nothing in the, on this channel here so it's nice and clean. Take your negative side, or some would say the female side, and hook it on there. And then take, talc it really well. Now you want to take the clay. Make sure it fills down all the way around the, the wax, just like that. Take the tart tamper. You know, you can use a tart tamper, or you could use like a dowel, like this. I don't like to hit this part with something heavy because I think the aluminum flasks could dent. So I'm always careful of that. And we'll take a little more. And this will be up above the rim of the flask. So now we can safely hammer it in just like that take something flat scrape it off clean that off now you want to pull this straight apart just like that okay so now that looks pretty good we're going to take you're going to want something to create a sprue, something round like this, and actually it works best to create the funnel first, and I just use my thumb. It's just nice. You can really pack it down, create a great funnel, then take something round like this, push it down in, And you want to take all these edges and round them. 
you want to make it so that the metal is not going to hit something on an edge and break it off. So you want everything to be smooth and rounded. Now this side here, I've lost my toothpick. Let me grab another one. On this side you want to have your vents. And I designed this so that you can come all the way in and make this part of the vent nice and big. Just like that. And I found that by pushing down, you get a much cleaner vent than if you drag it. When you drag it, you kind of get a wake, you know, like in a boat. So then the next thing you do is you take something a little finer. I'm doing this in kind of a hurry, but you'd want to take your time. And if you push straight down, you get a much cleaner vent. So what you want to avoid is having little bits of sand or clay, whatever you want to call it, that get down into your casting because they're going to look like porosity. So you can kind of blow it out. Now this one here we got the stone right there, so we want to do this one carefully. Make sure you're connected at the wax and not at the stone. So that's great. Um, again, pack this down, make sure there's nothing sticking up. So that's one side. Now we have this side here. Uh, we want to make sure there's no clay down in this channel here. You want these two halves to go together nice and tight. Then you take your thumb and you create this funnel here. Nice and smooth. Next thing we do is it helps to have a pair of tweezer. Uh, you want to be able to pull this up can't twist it so if you just pull on it a little bit in different places it will start to release it and really since right here we're going to have a, a sprue you can actually come underneath Pull that up. Might have to pack down a little bit where it's pulling up. This part's important. You want to take your time on this. Kind of tough on a video, but you want this to come out. Now, the stone has stayed in there, and that is okay we're gonna actually dump it out for now and there's a little bit of clay right there that stays there so this is pretty good we can blow out any extra okay then we take we're gonna make our sprue now if I was doing this and it wasn't a video, I would take twice as long to make sure everything is as clean as possible. But if I do that, my phone doesn't have enough space, so a 
but you get the idea. That's that's the whole thing. As long as you learn. Okay. Now, we take the stone and we figure out how it goes in and we set it in there, just like that. That's going to stay in there for the cast. So now this side here, now these flasks only go together one way, so... And just push that down. It's right in place. There's a nice hole right here. The stone is where it's supposed to be. All the vents are right. So now this is ready for having the metal poured. And I'm going to do that in another video. Alright, thank you.